Uh, hello, I need to do a video for the second day of Armageddon 2014. Sunday, I just came home and I had a best, one of the best days, or the be I'll just say it's the best day, but it's not really because I had an awesome day yesterday as well. But I just, it's a figure of speech. <laughs> um, yesterday I had a lot of fun um, being part of the Lamy's cosplay group with my friends, like doing that, that was really cool. And like, um, but today I felt like um, just kind of like doing my own thing, like what I usually do at cons is go to a lot of panels and um, check out the trade halls and kind of go on my own and stuff like that. So, um, on my own, I don't even know the song, I was, was going to sing some Les Mis on my own, but I don't know the words well enough. Um, yeah, so I thought, I was thinking about it, it's kind of like a yin-yang thing, it's kind of like um, on one day I had like a lot of fun with my friends, the other day I had a lot of fun on my own, so it's kind of balanced, like it's nice to have a balance, right? So anyways, today, I don't know, there's so many things, and some of the things are so good, I almost want to make a separate little video for them, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, first thing, I went in, um, so I didn't dress up today, I thought it'd be cool, to, it was going to be like 30 degrees today, so I decided to just wear a singlet and shorts. So I went in and the first panel that I saw, like I planned my day out, I was going to see um, Margot Kidder, who was Lois Lane in the 80s Superman movies. Um, Helen Slater, who was Supergirl in the Supergirl movie, which is a movie I really liked in my childhood. Um, then I was going to see the Jenna Coleman panel. Then I had already bought um, like a token, a photo token, a photo booth token to have a photo taken with Jenna Coleman, who's Clara on um, Doctor Who. That was at 2 o'clock, and then I was going to go to the Turtles panel at um in the afternoon. <laughs> Today was awesome, so much good stuff. Plus I bumped into my friends, it was oh, so good. And um, Kevin Eastman, who's the creator of the Turtles, half, two, there's two of them that created Turtles, so I was going to be in the same room with him, and yeah, I was going to see him at 3, and then 4.30 I was going to check out the cosplay competition, because um, my friends um, Elise, Vicky, Kat, uh, Alex, and um, uh, Alana, and uh, we're in this, um, they were dressed up as the wizards from Lord of the Ring plus some elves, and they, they were going to do a skit, so I wanted to watch that, so that was, I got to do that too, so I got to do everything I wanted today, it was awesome, I bumped into a few friends, yeah, so I'll go through, Margot Kidder was so awesome, she was, she reminded me of Carrie Fisher, you know um, Carrie Fisher from Star Wars who played Le Leia, Leia? I went to Sydney and I attended her panel and she was awesome. She just had so much to talk about, like, and, and Margot Kidder was the same, like, she was just so, it's wisdom or something, or, but she could just talk for ages and, like, I just, you want to, I wanted to listen. She was so fun and entertaining. She had some, yeah, <laughs> she was awesome. Um, she actually had some advice, three things of advice that she said that as she was older, she said, that this is what she said. She said, be nice to people, um, you know, like, be respectful. And then she, she also said, like, if you, this is like, um, if you ever have the opportunity to uh, have uh, uh, intimate relations with anybody, she goes, um, if, you know, if she should, like, if, if it's okay, like, just go do it. Because she goes, uh, when, when you're older, you know, you don't get the opportunity as much. So when you're younger, if you have the opportunity, you should do it. And she said, like, um, she's very open about it, and she said, like, yeah, she she did when she was young, and she was very glad that she did, and stuff like that, so that was kind of interesting advice, it was good. Um, yeah, she said a lot of things, she really loves acting, but though now she's not doing anything with acting, she's just, like, in a small town doing, like, um, things to, like, um, uh, just, like, things, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but just, um, things like, kind of like charity stuff, but, like, helping, helping the community in the world, and stuff like that, um, much more. Yeah, I didn't know how to explain it properly. But anyways, uh, she was awesome. I really enjoyed the panel. I'm so glad. It was at 10 o'clock. So I, I in the morning I got ready and I just left the house straight away. Um, so I'm really glad I made it on time to, 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 to end that. Um, and next was Helen Slater. It was awesome because I remember watching the Supergirl movies uh, movie when I was a kid. And now I was in the same room as Supergirl, the woman who played Supergirl. So my brain just could not comprehend that. So... She was really nice as well, like, she was awesome, just really sweet and, like, really humble and, uh, awesome. It's something I realised, all these famous people, they're so humble, like, all of them, from them to Jenna to everyone, like, they're just crazy humble, which is awesome. I don't, it must be like a thing, I don't know, it's very cool, I don't know, really, really cool. 
Um, so after that, uh, I went to the, the Jenna Coleman panel, and she was so good. Like, just so uh, happy to be there, and just her answers were fantastic, and she was just so interesting and stuff like that. And it was like, so I was just thinking in my head when I was listening to it, like, so this is the person who gets the, the job of Doctor Who's companion, someone just that's just amazing, you know? So, ah. Uh, Okay, so her panel's amazing. I, I loved it. And um, then I went to, to get the photo with her, and I'm so glad I did because, you know, uh, before the thing, I was thinking to myself, kind of half-half, like, I wanted to get a photo with her, but then I was thinking, oh, it's like um, $65 or something, roughly around that, to get a photo with her. And I was kind of half-thinking, like, you know, should I, should I, or should I just attend the panel? But then I just thought to myself, you know, like, this opportunity doesn't occur happened that often like Jenna Coleman being in Melbourne like I really I like um yeah so I really want to do it so I just said no nope, I'm gonna do it and especially because when I went to check out the tickets and stuff the Saturday session was booked out I was like oh god blah, blah, blah. I was like oh no I was worried that she was like too crazy popular that you know she would just be sold out straight away like but um so all Saturday was sold out but luckily on Sunday it was not sold out so I've got my ticket for Sunday, which worked out really well because it didn't clash with my Les Mis cosplay at all. Yeah, so I just heard something in the kitchen. I, it was, I think it was the TL television. <laughs> I think I heard like a voice. Um, so yeah, so I'm really glad. And one thing I, I gotta say that I was in line waiting. It was a long line for her. She was so popular. But um, in front of me, no, behind me, there was a guy who. Look, he was dressed up as um, Matt Smith's doctor, 11th doctor, and he was wearing like the, the brown jacket, the fez, he had this mop as well, and he looked a lot like um, doctor, so I got a photo with him, which is really cool. Um, uh, <clears throat> um, here we are, <laughs> that's him there, not in focus. But you get the idea. And the thing is, in front of me, like, just in front of me, there was a, a, a woman and her daughter. The woman, I don't know, it was, it was her mum, right? And her daughter, I would say, would be here in her early teens or mid-teens. And the daughter looked a, almost a, identically identical to Karen Gillan, who played Amy Pond. Actually, I told her that. Like, she was standing there, and, and when she came back from the bathroom, she was walking towards me, and I looked at her, and I go, whoa, she looked just like Amy Pond, and um, she had the red hair, she was like slim, and her face was just like really pretty, and it was just like Amy Pond, so I actually um, tapped her on the shoulder, and I said, you look like um, Amy Pond, and she was like, oh, that's like the best compliment she's got all day, and so, and her mum didn't know who Amy Pond was, because like she doesn't watch current Doctor Who and stuff, but yeah, now that I think about it, I mean, it doesn't matter, like I thought maybe I, sh I could have like shown them a photo of it, but nah, it doesn't need, not necessary. But yeah, it was fun, like, just being behind them, because the mum was so mum motherly to her. <laughs> like, she was like, oh, you know, put on some sunscreen, and the daughter's like, no, I don't want some sunscreen. And then the mum's like, oh, stay in the shade, and <laughs> it's like, like a mum stuff to do. It's just kind of fun to watch, like, mums are so caring. Yeah, mums are awesome. And so, yeah, so I was following them there, and then I got to have a photo with Clara. I feel like doing another video saying the same thing as this, but it's already included in this, so I'm going to do it now. Um... So we got to the line, and then I, yeah, I wasn't nervous, at, not really nervous, but kind of excited, like, as we got closer and closer to meeting Clara, I mean, um, Jenna. Um, yeah, I wasn't too nervous, I just felt, and I wasn't really thinking hard, like, what to say, because I just knew, like, when I got there, I would just, even if I just said, you're awesome, like, I just knew that it would be alright, like, that's enough, like, because if it's gen, if you generally feel something you say it, I think, You'll just carry across. You don't even have to say certain words. It's just how you feel. And I obviously really like Jenna Coleman. Like, just, yeah, I do like her, her a lot. So when I came in, I saw her. Um, I just walked up and I said to her, like, I looked her straight in the eye and I said, um, you're awesome. And she's like, oh, thank you. And then and then um, we took the photo. And I actually put my arm around her. So I put my arm around Jenna Coleman's waist. It was, like, it was really nice. And we had a photo, right? Here we are. Get. Oh, oh, oh. Shiny, because it's in a plastic pocket. So I put that as my Facebook profile picture. 
and um, she was like, Clara, it's Clara. And um, as I was leaving, I was like, I waved, actually waved her, I said goodbye, and then she turned around and said bye. <laughs> I was like, she's so nice. She's really cool. She seemed really, really, really awesome. I mean, she's probably had a zillion photos that weekend already, but just the fact that, you know, she's still awesome. Uh, I don't know. I That made my day, week, year, month, whatever. I'm going to stick it on my wall, I think. Yeah, it's really good. On the train ride home, <laughs> I just my batteries was like less than ten percent on my phone, but I still pulled out the picture of that picture on my phone. And this is kind of like looking at it, going, "Ah, oh, that's nice. I like that picture." Because <laughs> I'm next to Jenna Coleman, who's Clara, on Doctor Who, so it was good. Uh, so I did that, and then I went to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Kevin Eastman, he was one of the co-creators together with Peter Laird who created um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm a big fan of when I was a kid. Still, am, I still love them. And I went into the panel and um, I sat right near the front. Like, there's a front row reserved for the gold um, tickets people, but I was right there after that in the second row. And um, it was so interesting listening to him talk about stuff. It was so cool. He was really, really cool. I like him a lot. And he was saying about the history of how it came about creating the turtles and stuff. And so it was really basically a joke. Like, um, I'll probably say, oh, you probably can look it up on the internet about how they came out to create the turtles. But it was really between him and his friend. Like, they were thinking, they were watching some Bruce Lee movies. And I was thinking, uh, if Bruce Lee was a, a, an animal, what would he least likely be? And it's like the turtle. <laughs> and so they drew a picture of, like, um, Michelangelo with the nunchucks. Um, uh, as a turtle, and the other guy drew another version of it, like a better version, and then they just kept on taking turns drawing better versions of it, and then they said, oh, well, if there's one, why can't we have more? So they made four of them, and then they had, um, then they was thinking, I don't know, they just went on, and they were actually just writing, drawing for themselves, because they didn't think anyone would like it, they were just trying to have fun, and just put in stuff that they wanted, and they were making fun of um, things, or not fun, but parody of things, like yeah, it was really cool, and a really cool thing, like, you know how I go to these panels and I never really ask any questions of the of the celebrities, because often I really don't have a question that I really need to be feel like I want to know, specifically, but with the Turtles, I've always really wanted to know this, I've always wanted to know how they came about with um, naming the Turtles uh, after Renaissance artists, and I was like, here's the guy who, who um, created it, now's my chance to ask, so... I was the very first person to um, ask him a question. I, I went straight up to the microphone and just stood there and started it off. I said, um, thanks for making the turtles. It's, you're, it's really awesome. And then I asked, um, yeah, that question. And then he actually said, that's a really good question. And then he answered it and it was really cool. His answer was, um, he loved art. Like Even in school, he was like learning about Leonardo da Vinci and all that kind of stuff. And um, when they came to naming the turtles, like the typical thing would have been just to have like Japanese names or Asian names, just it would really fit with their ninjas, right? But he said, because they were making, having fun, they said, what's the most unlikely names that you could think of? And then they thought of um, like these Italian Renaissance painters, and plus he really likes them anyway. So you know, he had Leonardo and then um, Michelangelo and uh, Raphael, I think he said, was some Leonardo student or something like that, and he said, uh, almost said that uh, Donatello was actually going to be named Benini because uh, he, he thinks that Benini is a better sculptor, but Peter, his friend, um, said that he preferred the name Donatello because of the O at the end of the names, so they wanted another name with the O, so it would could have been Benini instead of Donatello, but yeah, that was such cool, um, that he, that I found out from the guy who created it, ah, oh, so cool, yeah. So that was really awesome. Okay, still going. <laughs> this day was awesome. Uh, after that, th then I bumped into Terry. Terry came up to me in the middle of the panel and he sat next to me. And I told him, oh! So it was really cool to catch up with Terry. And so I hung out with him after that. So we went out and when we went out of the, um, the panel for um, the turtles. Uh, uh, Vicky came up and she was like, turn! And she was in her wizard garbs. Wizard garb. Her and... And, um, you know, the, like I said before, they were in the cosplay competition, entering the cosplay competition. Ah, oh, they're so cool. They're the coolest. See, that's me with them on the side. That's a few of them, not all of them. It's blurry. 
um, they're in there with the outfits. And then so I got a photo with them, got to meet them, and then they said, are you coming to the cosplay competition? I said, yes, I will be there. Because, <laughs> I, yeah, so I did that. Um, and then I went to the trades hall with Terry, and um, oh, we bumped into Beck. Uh, she was working. She was hanging out at her friend's stall, her friend Cat's stall, who makes like handcraft and soft toys, and um, like they're Quidditch friends. But um, she was hanging out there coding stuff. And then uh, I was thinking like um, I wanted to get something for my sister, right? And I couldn't think of what to get her. Like I was looking at this, like T-shirts and things, and nothing really jumped out at me. And then um, I, at the same time, I also had a thought like, you know, because I saw Beck earlier on, like she had just caught out and I, and I'd come over and chatted with her and I was thinking like, what was she doing at the store? I didn't even bother to look at what she was had at the store. So this time around, I was like, oh yeah, so what, what kind of stuff do you have here? And she has like the, they have the soft toys that her friend makes and she goes, I, I don't do anything, I just kind of sit here and yeah. But um, then I, I saw there was one that's an Elphaba from Wicked, you know Elphaba, Wicked Elphaba. Uh, <laughs> It's cool because it's hand handmade by a friend of my friend, Cat. And if you're interested in this, I got her card. Uh, it's it's uh on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash cat k a t art illustrations, all one word, or Instagram slash the same thing, cat art illustrations. Or Tumblr, cat art illustrations at tumblr.com. Dot tumblr.com. If you're curious on checking it out, because it's really cool, it's charming, I like it. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna give that to my sister as like I don't know, I just felt like getting her something. And this is cool. I think she'll like it. She likes Wicked like me. I like Wicked. See, we've got hair at the back. How cool is that? So that's Alpha Bar. Cool as anything. And the thing is, it's a limited edition. There's only she only made four of those, and that was the last one that sold me. Yeah, <laughs> it was only twenty five dollars too. So I'm very happy, very happy. Couldn't have gotten. I don't think I could have probably gotten anything better than that uh, for that you know value. Mm. So after that, I was standing there, and then Rod called out to me, Tun, and then I saw him, and him and Sarah were there talking to some people, and I so I went over, and I, I just met up with them, and when I saw Sarah, she was cosplaying. Um, Clara from Doctor Who and she looks even before she cosplayed Clara everyone was like you look just like Jenna Coleman and even when I watch Doctor Who when I look at Clara I, I it looks just like Sarah like the features are pretty much the same it's crazy so when now when she's actually cosplaying Clara I mean yeah my brain was like that's really weird because I just it's like I just saw her like an hour ago or something and now here she is again but I know that it's not her but it, it's like an illusion oh, I have to show you the photo she looks so much like it crazy um, okay that's me with Jenna Coleman actually no it's Sarah <laughs> Sarah Cooper oh you can't see it's so blurry but you gotta uh, you gotta trust me because I saw Jenna Coleman in the flesh then I saw Sarah right after and my brain was confused that's how good it is um so that was really cool and so all of us we went to the cosplay competition and watched it and the wizard the my friends they did the funniest skit ever I swear it was so funny it was really really funny I wonder if I can show a little clip of it I took a video of it I might as well otherwise you won't get the idea of what happened I'll just show you a little clip of it So good. And that reminds me, I bumped into um, 
the I, I spotted the ladies, my friends from yesterday doing it as well, so I ran up to them and um Kat was there. Uh Kat different cat, Katrina, um Bevan, Bevan. And um her and her friend were doing a, a Mighty Boosh cosplay. And they I was asking the guy like because he's hot he held this thing that had music and I didn't know what it was, so I wanted to know and then um they just did a performance, a little performance for me. Hmm. Trying to find where it is. Here it is. I like it. I don't even know because I don't know what the reference is, but that's really cool. I like it. Anyways, <coughs> I think that's the end of my day. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. It was really cool, and I saw a lot of really cool costumes, awesome stuff. And I'll oh, I'll just finish up with a food story because I like my food adventures. Like I think when I went to Sydney um, convention to see Raymond E. Feist. Um, I saw these people eating this thing, like it was a stick with a spiral kind of thing on it. I was like, what is that? What are they? Well, people were coming out from from different directions, all carrying this thing. I was like, I want to eat this. So where is it? I went around everywhere. I couldn't find it. And so today when I saw people having it, I was like, when I'm free, I'm going to go find where this is. I thought it was in the food court, but um, no. Like um, after Jenna Coleman photo, I saw someone with it. So I went up to her and goes, where do you get these potato things? And she was like, oh. It's at for the food trucks, like, it's the third food truck, you know, from the front. So I went, I was like, yes, thank you. So I went there, and it's called, uh, Twist, Twisto. It's a love and a twist. <laughs> and it looks like this. Yeah, it looks like that. And, um, I, I liked it. I enjoyed eating it. It's just fun to eat, because you kind of have to, it's like a skewer, but it's, I didn't want to bite it and things drop, but it didn't really drop. Nothing really dropped. So it's actually really cool. So I had my um, fulfillment from a long time ago. Uh, get that? Yep. So um, I think that's all I want to say in this video. Yeah, covered all the topics that I wanted to say. So uh, awesome day. Yeah. All right. Catch you guys later.